I noticed that you had these stains on your mattress. I do, usually. What were they from? Hi. Welcome to Fruit Friends 3. A new fruit. I'm Jer- No. I'm- You're Jared? I guess. I'm Tony. And today we have a mystery fruit that Jared doesn't know yet. Oh, we're only doing a single fruit. Today. Yes. You couldn't- You couldn't- I couldn't find many fruits. You couldn't ship many more. No. My suitcase was full. You know how that goes. Yeah. All that right. Was, that was a little aggressive for me. Well, Jared's cooling this off. We're going to cut this uh, fruit. Well, I'll, I'll show what it is and then we'll cut it. I got you. Do you know what this is? Uh, it looks like a, a giant um, yam. Yep, it's a yam mixed with a coconut. Oh, but it's not that it not at all. Like it. It's called a mame. Edamame. M nope. M A M E Y. Okay. Mame sapote. And sapote means soft fruit. So we will cut this open and then with the magic of technology, when you see it next time, it'll be open. And we're back. Look at that. There's the seed. And I got to test this at the uh, Redland Fruit and Spice Park. I would recommend going there. Uh, these are pretty cool. Can um, we plant this in our yards in Minnesota and it'll grow? Oh, definitely. Because um, if there's anything I've learned about Minnesota, it's our abundance of tropical fruit. Oh. And if you can't sense the sarcasm, then I would say uh, please unsubscribe from this channel. Or don't. Just keep trying, friend. Yeah. Thanks, friend. Alright, this is it cut apart. We're gonna... It smells like, um... Yes, do do try to describe that to our viewers. Or our listeners, I don't know what they are. What the heck is that smell? I have a very specific... At idea. first, I was gonna say that orange melon. What's that called? Is cantaloupe the orange cantaloupe? one or the green yep. one? Cantaloupe is orange and green is honeydew. honeydew. I was gonna say it smells like one of those. I don't get that at all. You don't get that at all. To me, and I'll give you this. Okay. You just eat. Don't eat the outside, obviously, but you can eat down to. You sort can of eat the darker. Kind of, yeah, to where it kind of starts to separate. Sort of like a watermelon rind. Yep. Got it. I'm gonna let you go first. All right. Is there? Is it? I mean, it looks kind of. Um, it, um, not quite a Jello consistency. It's a thicker than yeah. that. Is it? Am I expecting lots of flavor? Not lots of flavor. It's a different type of flavor because it's. it's I'll let you go. Okay. It's not your typical fruit. Um, what is that? Does it taste like any other fruit that you've really had? Oh, um, I might have my taste buds ruined from the hot sauce, which is probably a likelihood. Um, I don't know. Should it taste like something else I've no. had? Oh, okay. I think it's very unique. Very soft, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Custardy. Yep. The thing that I think it tastes kind of like... That's weird. A little bit more fibrous part. Mm-hmm. The thing I think it tastes like is... Almost like brown sugar. Think so? Can I eat that part? Mm-hmm. It's not very flavor intense at all. No. Um, or almost like a pie filling. Yeah. I could see this being very good. We are horrible at describing this. By ice the way. cream. Yeah. Um, the one place that I did eat down in Miami, I should 
preface this by saying I brought this back from the Miami area just a couple days ago. <clears throat> and there was a restaurant in Miami that was a vegan restaurant that used basically sliced up mame as the fish part in sushi. Mm, that's what it tastes like. Fish. It definitely tastes a little fishy to me. I don't get the fishiness at all. But they, because they would take this mm. and kind of do it in strips like sushi and then put it in like soy sauce. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. But it does taste a little like salmon to me. Yeah. Not, I think these hot sauce wrecked not, it. Not like terribly equivalent to it. But, yeah. And this almost, one may have almost, dried out a little bit too much. It almost... Uh, It almost peels off of the rind. That's a rind, right? You would say that's yeah. a rind. It almost peels off the rind, similar to how a uh, salmon fillet flakes off the skin. I can see that now. It's definitely flaky mm -hmm. and kind of fibery, but without having really a fibery not like mouth feel. fibery no. kind of thing. But how about that for a seed? It's pretty gnarly. Like, you could do some damage with that if you got some cojones right there. Uh, well, Fruit Friends 3, would you try this fruit again? This is the Hippy Dippy Hot Toddy Hot Sauce Potty. Wow. You know you were looking forward to that. I was. Well, how about you like, comment, and Thank you.